Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a haul because I really wanted to do a haul video, but I also wanted to talk about my monthly favorites. But a lot of these products I just got. I went to Ulta today and I bought a crap ton of stuff, okay? And then I also have a crap ton of stuff that I bought over the course of the month or gotten for my birthday because my birthday was early this month. And I wanted to talk about like all of it. So let's just talk about like all of it. Why not? So, um, this is the Louis, Louis, Luminous Dewy, Luminous, I cannot talk, the Luminous Dewy Skin Mist from Tatcha. So amazing. Um, if you have been going through the dry skin spell because of the weather, because what was happening for me was I was having a really hard time, okay? Because when the winter hit me, like a gust of wind, like soaked all of the moisture out of my face, and made me dry. Even though it's a dewy skin mist and I have oily skin, this really helps with the fact that my skin has been going through this weird random dry phase. It allows for my skin to be hydrated underneath my makeup so that my skin doesn't feel like it has to become more oily and it makes my makeup application go on a lot smoother. My makeup stays on longer. It looks luminous and beautiful. And oh my God, I've never, I. Like, I promise you guys, I did not think when I bought this that it would work the way I thought it would for me because I have oily skin. I saw, who did I see using this? I saw Michelle Fawn, Jackie, and I think Amrizi um, mentioned this. I'm not sure. And Taylor was like, yo, fam, you gotta buy that. And so I was like, yo, fam, it's 48 bucks. Like, she has never even used it. And she was like, I'm pretty sure it'll be bomb. Go ahead and buy it. So I bought it. I went out on a limb. And I will say this was worth all of the 48 bucks that I spent for it. So if you're on the market for something luxury, you know, um, I say go ahead and try it. Another favorite for Jana Mary, Jan, Jana Mary. Benefit Professional. Um, this is one of those oldie but goodies that everybody talks about and I never tried it up until this point. And I will say that I really do like it. It does help to minimize your pores and make your skin look flawless underneath your makeup. So if you have like dry or patchy skin or if you have like skin that's like kind of rough or you have really big pores, this will help with that. Another product that I've been loving that's been helping with my pores is the Bye Bye Pores um, Translucent Powder from It Cosmetics. This stuff is so velvety smooth, I love it. I tried it a long, long time ago, but recently I think I saw Alyssa Forever using it underneath her makeup instead of on top because what I did was before I used this on top of my foundation, it had horrible flashback. And if you're a dark skin girl, you know, flashback is not fun because your, your, your under eyes are like glowing like Casper. Using it underneath though has really helped. Um, I did notice a difference when I used this underneath my makeup. I feel like it helped to soak up the oil before it actually rose to the surface and made my face look oily. So I think that that helps a lot as well as minimizing pores. It, it smooths out your skin like instantly and it makes it look like perf. Oh. So for my birthday, my twin wife got me this Marc Jacobs brush and it's dirty because I use it, but I use it every, oh God. It's the Face One brush and it's so super soft and it blends out my foundation so beautifully. I just love it. It's just so luxurious looking. Look at that. Doesn't it look like awesome? I just love it. So I've been using a new face cream, which I'm on the market for new face stuff. I'm always on the market for new face stuff, but especially now because my skin has changed so much because of the weather, I can't really use drying, mattifying, you know, products that clarify a lot every single day. This Noxzema Deep Cleansing Cream, it smells awesome. First of all, it smells like Vicks Vapor Rub, which if you don't like Vicks Vapor Rub or anything like that has that minty smell, you won't like this. But I love it because I love minty smells. It has eucalyptus in it. Eucalyptus is a calming, soothing, minty type. Because um, the glycolic acid uh, face wash that I've been using from Mara Badescu is really drying. So I can't use that every day. I have to use it like every other day now. So I've been using this and a little bit goes a long way. Look how much is in here, guys. Like I've been using this for a month and I haven't even like gotten that far into it and I've really been enjoying how that feels and smells and just the whole experience. I've really been loving Missy Lynn's Cloud 9 lipstick. This Cloud 9 lipstick is a lot like um, one of the Colourpop lipsticks that I use. I don't remember which one. I think it's either Kapow or Trap. I'm, use I'm trying to use more um, 
like lipsticks that aren't drying and mattifying. The ColourPop lippies are great, but they're too drying. And like I said, wintertime, not my fave. Um, not my skin's fave anyway. So I have to use stuff that's not as drying. So I use regular lipsticks now. Also, before I get to anything else, these are the Ciate Liquid Velvet Lipsticks that I got from Sephora. And I think these are awesome. I'm wearing one right now. This is um, the Liquid Velvet in Swoon. And then I have Diva and Sass Pot. They are not drying. They feel velvety smooth. So if you were looking for liquid lipsticks that don't feel too drying on the lips, these are really cool. Yeah, that's it for my favorites. So let's just go ahead and get into the haul. So I got some stuff from Target. Um, I wanted to try some drugstore stuff. I also got some drugstore stuff from Ulta too, but I want to talk about these first. First thing that I picked up was this um, Pixie Glow Mist. I've been hearing everybody talk about this as a good glowy mist. And because I got the Tatcha one, I thought I would get a drugstore alternative or something close to it. So I decided to try this out and see if it was close to the Tatcha one. If you have this, let me know if you like it. It seems like it would be cool. It's got propolis and argan oil in it. So really interested in seeing how this compares to the Tatcha one. Another drugstore dupe that I've wanted to try was the L'Oreal True Match powder, which I've heard is really great and comparable to the Studio Fix powder. Uh, thing is, I went, to, I went to MAC recently and I got the Studio Fix powder and I got the Studio Fix Fluid Foundation because I used to use these faithfully together. They were my like full coverage, like holy grails. And these are not my color even though it looks like my color. They don't really match the rest of my body. I feel like the color spectrum at MAC is good. Uh, they have a good range of colors, especially for, you know, dark skinned women, women of color, but I just, I don't know. I feel like they have too many like in between shades or their shades are never really like on point, um, especially not for me anyway. I always feel like I'm in between a shade. So I wanted to try L'Oreal because I know L'Oreal has a really good selection, a color selection. So I got the uh, N7. I didn't want to get anything too cool or too warm because I'm in between right now. So I got N7, which is neutral. I've also got this um, contouring brush from e.l.f. I don't know why. It just said, hey, Vicky, pick me up. And I said, hey, okay, I'll buy you. Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick from NYX and it is in the color Stone Fox, I think. I haven't been able to find it anywhere, so I had to wait until the hype on these kind of died down, but I really, really wanted to try this, so I'm really excited to see how this looks on me. That's all I got from Target. Moving on to Ulta. So I got a lot of things, and I probably shouldn't have, but I got them. Starting off with things that aren't makeup related. I got these poopery sprays because you guys know how much I love poopery so I got two more um, these are lavender vanilla scent and I'm so glad that they have these in Ulta, at Ulta now because now I don't have to order them online so if you're wondering where to find your poopery sprays for your bathroom so your poop doesn't stink up the bathroom <laughs> um, you should try them they have them right at the front the devil's playground is what I like to call it. All of the little sample stuff before you get to the register, they had all of these there, so I got these. I also got some skincare. I got, I wanted to try this Rapid Age Spot and Light Pigment Lightning Serum from Murad. So I got the little sample trial size because I'm scared to buy a whole bottle for 60 bucks and it doesn't do anything for me. So I got this because I wanted to try something that fades dark spots faster. Um, I know that this works for me, the 10% Glycolic Acid Cream by Reviva. I've been using this stuff, I've, I stopped using it for a while, but I used to use this stuff religiously every single day and um, it really helps to uh, repair your skin faster um, and fade dark spots. So if you have blemishes or acne spots, this helps to kind of fade that. Um, but I wanted to try this serum too because serums help to speed up the process and you can use these in conjunction with each other. So I want to see how they work together. I also got the Murad Skin Smoothing Polish. Um, it de deeply exfoliates to leave skin soft and smooth and helps relieve congested pores. It just sounds like it should work for something, right? So I just thought I'd try it. I don't know. I'm always open to trying new products. Even though I don't have perfect skin to try new products, I just feel like because I have 
you know, acne prone sensitive skin, I should try things and let y'all know what works for acne prone sensitive skin, right? I don't know. I just like the way it looks and I like the way it sounds. Like it's a smoothing polish. So I feel like it'll smooth out your skin. And my skin has been kind of like rough because of the weather. So I think maybe this would kind of help with that. Another skincare product I got, which I'm so excited because one, I can never find soap and glory stuff anywhere in stores. They're always sold out. And of course they were sold out of my favorite, which is the Righteous Butter, which I love. I just ran out of it. So I ran to Sephora, not Sephora, to Ulta to go get some more. Of course they're sold out. And I was gonna buy it, like I had it in my hand and she was like, oh, this is the tester. We can't sell you the tester. I'm like, bruh. I got the body wash just to try it. This is the Rich and Fomus body wash. And I just ran out of body wash, so I think that this would be, I don't know, kind of cool to try. I don't know. Love Soap and Glory. If you haven't tried Soap and Glory, you should, because I love their body stuff. I only got a couple makeup items. I got the NYX Micro Brow Pencil, because I can never get enough of these. They work really well. Um, they worked just like the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow is. So if you wanted a dupe that's half the price, NYX has one. So I wanted to try out this new foundation. This is the Maybelline Dream Velvet Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation. This caught my eye because one, it says matte, two, it says hydrating. Two things that I love right now. The one thing that I really like about Maybelline's Dream Collection is that their Dream foundations are all really like lightweight. Like I never really feel like I have makeup on when I'm wearing a Dream foundation. I used to wear the Dream Mousse foundation when I was in high school and I loved that I used to swear by it like I wouldn't even wear it all over my face sometimes I would just wear it on different spots because I didn't have bad skin back then because I don't know why but my skin was perf for some reason I can always like pick up a shade that I think will match me and it matches perfectly like these foundations match the best to me this one matches my skin tone so flawlessly this is 92 caramel and it matches better than any foundation I have right now and I'm so excited about that because it was inexpensive it's mattifying I love it. Um, another thing that I like about these foundations is that they don't transfer a lot. So, um, excuse my kitchens, guys, but like it never wants to go up. So, we're just gonna leave the kitchens hanging, okay? And then, excuse my ponytail. I know that it's like in a weird position, but I don't know. My hair is just not doing what I wanted to do, okay? So I just decided to just beat my face and leave my hair. I don't, I don't care about my hair right now. And last thing I got from Ulta was this Too Faced Melted Chocolate lippy and it is the melted chocolate diamonds i've been wanting to try any of the Too faced chocolate products because they all smell like chocolate and i don't know i just feel like if a product smells like chocolate you should buy it so i believe that is all for this haul like i said this lip color is the ciate lip color in swoon with the Makeup Forever Lip Pencil in 2C underneath. On my face, I have on the Dream Matte Foundation um, and I use the Tatcha Spray and I use the Bye Bye Pores. So you guys are basically getting a whole idea of what my makeup, if you guys would like a makeup routine for you know showing you guys how to use some of these new products that I've been talking about, I will definitely do that for you um, and let you guys know how to get and something similar to this look. I mean, we probably won't do the same eye look. I don't know, maybe I will, but. These lashes are Siren Lashes by House of Lashes because House of Lashes is bae. Um, all the information you need will be in the description box, including all of the links to everything that I talked about in this video. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for supporting. Thank you guys for being awesome. I love you. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Where did my voice go? I will talk to you guys in my next video, okay? Bye!